Now turn back to page 41 in your student books. Sometimes maps help us understand a text. However, the author of Africa Digs did not include maps. The author assumed the reader knows where Niger, Africa is in comparison with the United States. Africa is a continent. Niger is a country in Africa. The Atlantic Ocean separates North America from Africa. I want you to, on page 41, where the map is located, I want you to place an X to mark where you live. I want you to place a C where Chicago is. And I want you to label the Atlantic Ocean. We will revisit the map when we read the text. Now I want you to look at the questions at the bottom of the page. I want you to follow along as I read the questions aloud. Reading for a purpose. Number one, who led the dig in Niger, Africa? Number two, why did Dr. Sereno need help from the Tuareg tribe? Number three, how did the team dig how did the dig team protect the fossils? Number four, how did the dig team load the bones onto trucks? Number five, how did the scientists clean the bones? Number six, why did Dr. Sereno's team make bones? Number seven, what did the team create to help build the skeleton? Number eight, how did they make the casts look like real fossils? You will learn the answers to these questions in the passage. The questions will help provide a focus for reading as they identify the important facts and concepts found within the text. Now it's time to read. Follow along with your eyes and your pencil eraser. Watch the words and use your pencil eraser while I read the text to you. Why? Your brain likes to detect patterns in words. While I'm reading to you, your brain is hard at work detecting patterns and making meaning while your eyes are on the text and your eraser tracks the words. <laughs> 